Hello everyone, I am Devanshu Kumar and today I will be discussing a problem named Friends and Gift. This was a problem C of code forces uh, around 611 division 3. So let's start. In this question, we were given that there are n friends, uh, n friends and each of them can gift to gifts to each other such that uh, each friend I will give one gift to J. Uh, and he can give only one gift and he should also receive one gift from K. Let's just say uh, K sent one gift to I where I is not equal to J and K is not equal to I. With By this I mean that they cannot gift a gift to themselves, right? So um, means like, uh, let me just take an example for easier. Let's just say we have five friends okay and and the constraint is like uh, we know like uh, the first person gift gave the gift to two the second person gave the gift to three the fourth person uh, third to fourth the fourth one to fifth one fifth one gave it to first one okay let me write here the index values so as it is easier to understand So as you can see, uh, each person got one gift, exactly one gift, okay. Uh, but in the question, it was given that, uh, as you can see here, like the first person gave the gift to second, the second person gave it to third, third person gave it to four, fourth person gave it to fifth, and fifth person gave it to one. Now in the question, we were given that in, the, in this sequence, there are some places which are unknown unknown are denoted by zero means uh, this person does not know to whom should I give the gift okay and suppose this is three still and this is four and again it is zero and again it is zero okay and here one two three four five now we have to fill these places and then output the answer such that it does not violates any of the condition by any of the conditions I mean that one should not give uh, a gift to himself like here one cannot be there okay and here uh, four cannot be there here five cannot be there okay let me write here let me write this at top itself here one should not be there okay now this was the question we have to find an optimal solution right not exactly this sequence but anything which uh, satisfies the given condition maybe I can write here five three four and uh, here maybe here maybe I will write one and here maybe I will write two right so this will also satisfy the given constraints now we have to find any of the possible uh, uh, case which satisfies this given situation so this was a medium level uh, easy kind of question but if you have not tried this question yet I would suggest to pause the video now and try to solve it okay so I will uh, now I will start discussing the solution. So as you can see at any position I and uh, at any position I suppose if there is a zero then uh, and I have not received the gift for that person yet right then it is again a problem okay uh, let me just consider the previous example again right zero three double zero. 0, 3, 4, double 0 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So as you can see the problem index is 1 okay, and 5. Because if you see here the 1 has not received a gift yet and 1 has not given a gift also. So when I am filling it I should be careful that I don't fill here 1. Okay and again here uh, if I have a 5 here and 5 has also not received a gift as you can see this position the 4 position is safe because uh, the fourth guy has already received a gift okay so I can fill any number here so means like 1 2 3 anything which has not received a gift I can sim simply put it here right so my solution was uh, my solution utilized this fact only I have uh, sets of problematic and 
are safe places okay so by safe places i mean uh, by safe places i mean the position which i can fill anything which i don't care about anything which is not yet uh, which any of the student which has not received a get gift yet okay that can be filled uh, which i don't care let me write here don't care okay and how i maintain like which guy has received a gift or not that is pretty easy right so if i have n students i can just maintain a count array of n plus 1 okay n plus n plus one size and then i while i'm iterating this array i will just iterate okay count of three plus plus count of four plus plus and so on so wherever the count is zero that guy has not received a gift yet okay and then i will have to just uh, populate this problematic safe places now let me just consider one case okay suppose i have three problematic indexes okay maybe three four and five let me just consider like okay three has also not received a gift yet four has also not received a gift yet and uh, suppose here two one this is one this is two right so basically three four five are problematic index now if you just consider one case if a problematic goes in a cyclic order like okay i have any problematic okay and okay so one thing i will do i will complicate the case case a bit okay so it is not very easy to solve okay maybe here i will take uh, uh, okay five six i will write here okay and then this is six again and this is also left blank will that do yeah so yeah so this will do okay so yeah this is a case now if you see here the safe places are the safe places are uh, six because the six guy has already got a gift so i can put anything at place six and the problematic are problematic are three because three has not got a gift yet four and seven so three four and seven now if you just consider uh, one thing simply is that a, pro a problematic guy should not give a gift to himself right but he can give it to other guys so what i can do is in place of three i can just put a go in cyclic order so three i can put four uh, in four i can put seven and in seven i could put three okay and in six i could put anything which is not yet given so that is five okay so that that kind of thing i will have the array populated very easily because uh, only case is that prob problematic should not give a gift to himself so we can maintain a cyclic queue kind of thing so this can give it to this one this guy can give it to this and this can give it to this guy and this can again return to first one okay so that way we solve the problematic and safe can be anything right so yeah that was all in this question so this is a small logic i used which easily solved this question so let's go to this code and understand okay so first thing i am doing is i am just taking the input array a n i am maintaining a count array okay and then uh, i am just taking the input ai and count of i equal to zero i am just setting this array value to all zero then count of n also i kept zero then for zero to n whatever is the ai value i am incrementing that count means like uh, uh, three already got the gift or not so that kind of thing so i so the count array now has the places filled for the guy who already got a gift then i have a vector problematic safe and places okay so by safe i mean the digits i can fill all the kids which are to be filled and places are the giving kid or who is the giving kid or the gift who should be the presenter of the gift okay and the kids are which should receive the gift okay so and then uh, if i'm checking if i plus one equal to zero that and my array is also zero so here what i'm doing why i'm doing i plus one because i maintained a zero indexed array right so that's why i'm checking if ai is zero and count of i plus one equal to zero then this is a problematic so i push it to problematic then if only count of this is zero means like this guy has not got a gift yet then i'm pushing it to safe and then if 
the place value zero means this guy has not decided to whom should he give the gift so then i'm pushing it to places right so in places i will be just putting the save value later okay we'll see that so if problematic dot size is one means like i have only one problematic place so what i can do it i can just swap it with the suppose this is a problematic one and the safe one so i can just swap this and because safe place can be easily exchanged with anything right so like that that's why i am taking the place value of zero safe value and putting it at uh, the and value i'm putting it as pro problematic of zero plus one that is nothing but the first value of problematic and in place of problematic a of problematic i am putting safe value means the i'm just exchanging the values okay and for the rest of the size i equal to one to save dot size a of place of i equal to save for five plus one okay i'm just updating these values okay just putting these values putting safe values now if the size is greater than one then i can just form a loop in the problematic size only i don't need to consider or swap the uh, safe places so simply i would what i would do is a of problematic of i equal to problematic of i plus one plus one so means like why i did here problematic of i plus one is uh, if you just consider a circle here like one should give it to two and two should give it to four let's just say and these were the problematic right so the next one they should give it to the next one right and the last one uh, a of problematic of problematic dot size minus one this is nothing but last guy last problematic guy this is the last guy and he is the first guy so the last guy should give the to give it to the first one right then it completes the circle and then for the rest of the places i am just updating the save value for i equal to 0 to save dot size i plus plus a of place of i equal to save of i plus 1 save value anything i am just putting it there right and if there is no problematic child at all then simply i have to put in the save value so that is nothing but uh, 0 to save dot size i plus plus a of place of i equal to save of i plus 1 that's all and then finally i'm just outputting this array value right so this was all so if you have any doubts do mention them in the comment section below i hope i explained the code well if you have still any doubts do mention them in the comment section below do subscribe to my channel for more such videos and yeah thank you happy coding